Here is the fitness reality rowing machine that we bought from Amazon to add to our home gym. As you can see, there's not too many pieces to assemble in the box, so it's pretty easy to put together and we'll walk you through these steps right now. First, you wanna attach the seat with the arrow pointing forward. There's also a magnet uh, and the center on one side, they need to be facing the same side. Use the included, included uh, screws and plate to attach those. We are using our own drill because it just goes by faster. Now, when you're putting the pedals on, make sure the bottom um, bolt is the bolt without the washer. Uh, we had to redo that uh, and put that bolt there with no washer. And then the one that goes through the foot pedal is the one with the washer that acts as a stopper. Then you want to make sure you guide that sensor wire through the bracket, as you'll see in the instruction manual, and um, connect that to the console. Um, then you're pretty much done. You're just going to put this last bolt in and the pin and you are ready to go. In order for the console to work though, there are included batteries that you do need to put into the console. So you just pop that out, um, put your batteries in there and you are ready to row. The values on the console are um, the, your count, the, the total number of strokes and pulls, your calories, number of calories burned, your time will track the workout length. Um, scan will make the display automatically rotate between all the values. Um, M, this will track your distance in meters and SPM will track the average number of strokes per minute. So overall, this machine is quiet, it's very smooth and it's um, easy to store. So you just take that um, bolt and pin out, fold the track up and you roll it to where you want to store it. There's an app that you can download, MyCloud Fitness, that gets you basic workout tracking and activity reports.